Hello, today I am going to talk about latest quarterly financial performance of Minda Corporations. The company has posted a very strong set of numbers primarily because of the growth coming in from the domestic business. Let us first discuss the key highlights from the result. First, the company has posted a revenue growth of around 18% on a year-on-year -year basis. This growth came in from the 26% growth recorded in the domestic business, which contributes around 77% to the total revenue. However, the export markets have witnessed a decline, primarily because of the change in emission norm. Secondly, in terms of operating profitability, the company has posted a 82 basis points EBITDA margin contraction in this quarter as compared to the same quarter last year. This is primarily because of the increase in the operating expense and the poor performance of interior systems. Moving on to the segment wise performance, security system and restraint system, data information and telematics, both these segments have witnessed a growth of around 26% and 36% in its net revenue and their EBITDA margin expanded by around 230 basis point and 40 basis point in this quarter as compared to the same quarter last year. However, the interior system which witnessed a growth of around 18% in its net revenue witnessed a EBITDA margin contraction of around 430 30 basis points primarily because of the unfavorable product mix and the changing emission norms in Europe. Now, why do we like this company? There are a couple of factors that work in favor of company. First is the BS6 implementation, which is expected to give a growth uh, to the company because it is expected to increase content per vehicle. In fact, the company has received various orders to supply BS6 compl compliant parts to domestic clients as well as the international client. Secondly, the company has a robust order book. It has an order book of around 4,200 crore rupees. In fact, the, in quarter two only, the company has received an order worth 961 crores this order book gives earning visibility to the company. Next is the company continues to focus on its uh, export market. The group has around 30 customers across 20 geographies and try to increase the penetration there as well. In fact, the company has received an order from Germany tier 1 manufacturers. Apart from that, the company has also making inroad in EV space and has received an order from an EV manufacturers manufacturer in Netherland. The next is the diversified uh, segments. The company is diversified across its product segment and has a very less client concentration. So, hence, the company is uh, it does not have the risk of the client concentration and the product risk. Next is the focus on R&D. The company has been continuously focusing on its R&D uh, R&D as well, and it it has set up a technical department in Pune. The results of which are visible now, as the company has received multiple orders from new customers like Hero Motor Corp, uh, Honda Motors, and Piaggio. And finally, the attractive valuations. Amid the stock market volatility, the stock has corrected around 44% uh, from its 52-week high, which has made the valuation very attractive. The company currently trades at around 18.8 times, 14.9 times F by 19, F by 20 projected earnings. Overall, Minda Corp is in well placed to take the advantage of the growth coming in from the domestic and export business. That's it from my side. Please log on to moneycontrol.com for more views and updates. Thank you.